Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous session, I introduced you with 188. I have also shown you how do you register with DevCloud for access. I have explained you why do we need 188. All those things I hope were very clear. In this session, we are going to go a little bit deeper and we will understand the 188 toolkits. Yes, this session will give you the clarity about what are all the 188 toolkits which are available, which can be used by the data scientists, AI scientists, and we have got a lot of toolkits which can be tailored to your needs. Yes, one API is really powerful. One API has got Intel one API based toolkit. Here we have a core set of high performance tools for building DPC++ applications and one API library based applications. Please remember, we have got one API based toolkit. I'll talk more about it a little bit. And we have got domain specific toolkits available with us. HPC, the first one comes in this queue is one API HPC toolkit. It will help you in delivering the fast C++, Fortran, OpenMP applications at the scale that is required. The scale is most important here. And we have got the most happening one API IoT toolkit. This will help you in building the high performance, efficient, reliable solutions that run at the network's edge. Yes, mostly the edge. The next one is Intel One API DL Framework Developer Toolkit. DL, deep learning, it's happening everywhere. We are going to build multiple deep learning applications with One API and this toolkit is going to be very useful for it. You can build deep learning frameworks or you can customize the existing framework so that your applications can run really faster. And you can do that all with One API DL Framework Developer Toolkit. And the next one is Rendering Toolkit. One API Rendering Toolkit. This is for visualization applications. You can go at a beautiful design, high performance, high fidelity, visualization applications, fantastic designs, AR, VR applications. All those can be developed with ease with this one API rendering toolkit. The next one in the queue is analytics toolkit, EA analytics toolkit. This is the best. This has been developed to make sure that the EA and analytics, all those together are brought in and cut, cut, cut. The Intel A Analytics Toolkit is the best of the available toolkits and it will help you in accelerating the performance. And we are going to talk more about it. And the best part of it is we have got high performing Python libraries available for us to go ahead and use it. The next one is the Intel distribution of OpenVINO Toolkit. I have already taught you a lot about OpenVINO, how to use it, what kind of applications can be built. Now that OpenVINO Toolkit has come in as part of this Intel One API and it is available with One API package. You can perform, you can deploy high performance inference applications from edge to cloud. And this is very, very useful. And finally, we have got Intel System Breakup Toolkit. It will help you in debugging as well as tune systems for the power and performance. So all these together, if you see, we have got one API based toolkit, HPC toolkit, IoT toolkit, DL deep learning framework, developer toolkit, one API rendering toolkit, AI analytics, open window toolkit, and finally system breakup toolkit. Well, I'm going to talk about the one API based toolkit first. That's very, very interesting and easy to understand as well. It is used to build and deploy very high performance data centric applications across diverse architectures. Please understand, you can choose any architecture that you want. The hardware dependency is going to be broken here. So you can build data centric applications across diverse architectures with core set of provider tools and libraries. The toolkit is very, very rich. It has got one API collective communications library, data analytics library, deep neural networks library, DTC++ compiler, math kernel library, threading building blocks, video processing library, advisor, distribution for Python, DPC++ compatibility tool, FPGA add-on for one API based toolkit, VTool profiler, and many, many things, including JDB is all here. Now, this is going to be very easy and very useful. The one API based toolkit, we call it base kit actually, is actually a core set of tools and libraries for developing data centric applications, remember. And the most important point that you need to remember is it features industry leading C++ compiler that implements SQL. We will talk more about it. We are going to learn SQL as well. And evolution of C++ for heterogeneous computing. SQL is nothing but an evolution or an upliftment of the C++ for heterogeneous computing. And I have given the link here for you, devclo.intel.com slash one APA slash get starter. When you go there, you can see this one APA based toolkit and you can start accessing. We will go through the complete setup here as a video. I have gone into the web page where I have got the one API toolkit available. Complete details are available here. 
you can view the training modules and you can also start with your first sample. The training modules are very well crafted. I'm telling you, it's the best place to learn things. Just visit devclaw.intel.com at 1EP, get started. There you get all these sub-modules and modules available. You can try that in Jupyter. I have already shown you how to launch Jupyter and how to use it. And you can try your first sample. It's going to be easy. It's not so tough. You can have the methods to connect to DevCloud and you can connect via Windows with Sigwin, Linux and Mac OS. All those are available here. The entire procedure is given to you in a very simple way that anybody can understand. You can go step on step and you can implement and run. This is going to be very useful for you. Try it out and in case you have any questions, you can ask me. Well, the next one in the picture is the one API HPC toolkit. HPC is high performance toolkit. I mean the high performance computing toolkit. This is at the core of the AA now and machine learning applications or deep learning applications. You need this. When you want to perform, when you want to develop machine learning and deep learning applications that are going to be furthermore complex and furthermore request more computing power, you go ahead with high performance computing toolkit. The one API toolkit delivers what developers need to build, analyze, optimize and scale. All these are very, very important. And we have got the latest techniques in vectorization, multi-threading, multi-node parallelization, and importantly, memory optimization supported with the one API HPC toolkit. The toolkit is an add-on. This toolkit is an add-on to the Intel one API based toolkit. And remember it, it has got a variety of uh, supporting tools available. It's got a variety of contents available for you. You can go ahead with using the Intel C++ compiler, Fortran compiler, MPA library, Intel cluster checker, inspector, trace analyzer and collector. All these becomes part of it and you can learn it with ease. Now you can see the way I'm going through it. You can also try this out. You can get your first sample run or you can learn from the available training modules and you can use any of the available tools for you to go ahead and build further things or to inspect further things. And all these are easy. You can start from the basics. You can start from step one. You can connect to DevCloud. You can run a simple Hello World program and then you can take the basic samples that are available for you and it's going to be interesting. The next one in the queue is rendering toolkit. What is it all about? It's all about visualization. The creators, engineers, scientists, and they can really push beyond the boundaries to get something really nice. The visual effects and the animations are going to be excellent when you come to this one API rendering toolkit. We have got digital content creation, professional rendering, animation, computer aided design, architectural engineering, scientific visualization, gaming VR and AR, all these as bundle package or bundled applications which come with one API rendering toolkit. The toolkit also includes multiple sub tools as you could see in front of you. It starts with Embry, it goes on till Open Image Dinos. It has got a lot of content. There are multiple case studies available, examples available which you can start picking up and try out. Well, the next one is analytics toolkit. The one API AA analytics toolkit. This is specifically for data scientists, AA developers, scientists and researchers who are already having familiarity with Python to come ahead and to use the existing one API AA analytics toolkit to build further applications or enhancing the applications, whatever they have. Using this toolkit, you can go ahead and deliver high performance, a deep learning training on Intel, any hardware. It can be any hardware from Intel and you can integrate the fast inference into your AI development workflow. That's the most important part. And that comes with Intel optimized deep learning frameworks for TensorFlow, PyTorch, or you have pre-trained models as well. And all these come with the package, the one API AI analytics toolkit. You can go ahead with using the multiple packages and tools available supported with this. And it's going to make your life very easy in terms of building the AI applications. You get everything here. You've got Intel optimization for TensorFlow, Intel distribution of Python, model zoo for Intel architecture, Intel distribution of a model, Intel distribution and optimization for PyTorch. All these are available and you can come and explore. As usual, we have got set of samples available, training modules available, and you can learn. The next one is my favorite, Open Vino Toolkit. You can build, convert, optimize, tune, and deploy. The cycle is very easy to go ahead and learn. It's going to be very, very fundamental and very easy for you to learn. This Open Vino Toolkit is going to help you with model optimizer, deep learning workbench, inference engine, deployment manager, open CV, DL streamer, post, post training optimization tool, all this comes with you. And you can convert and optimize the models using the frameworks that you are much familiar with, which are already very popular, like the TensorFlow, the PyTorch, the Cafe, all these you can use and you can choose the best of the available options for you. 
you can go ahead with open Vino. it's easy to use it can be tested on the device in the browser or in the cloud so all these are going to be easy you can install and try it out and multiple examples are given and it will be very easy for you so as i told you already the next one in the picture is going to be iot toolkit the one api iot toolkit well what is it used for you can build applications you can build excellent applications which can withstand a lot of upload at the edge that's the major target you can build enhanced applications with the support and the tools available and the deployment can be across intel cpu gpu or fpga architectures and the integration will be really faster and it will be efficient and importantly there are performance libraries which we have which are already integrated like openmp the one api threading building blocks all those will make your life much more easier and the toolkits which are available are very rich as well we have got intel one api db c++ c++ compiler c++ compiler classic inspector and all these are available and the best part is we have got the open embedded meta intel layer for yocto project all those are also available threading memory persistent memory debugging and all these are available as support for you to go ahead and build your system without any flaw and it will be very nice for you to learn this as well we shall learn more and i will explore one after another as in how do we use it how do we explore the examples all these things will be done in the near future until then i sign off from you if you like the channel the content kindly subscribe thank you